What's up, little pups? It's your friend. Again, with another video. Guys, I cannot wait for this one. This one is literally amazing. Okay, you know why? Because, well, I, if you guys don't know, I love the weather. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This was created three years ago, February 28th, 2017. And uh, basically, it's a quiz of how much do you know about U.S. weather. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Um, okay, so we got ten questions. So there's gonna be ten questions here. Ten. Okay. So uh, we're gonna take this and see what happens. And guys, you guys can play along too. Just pause the video right before I reveal the answer, and let me know down in the comments down below what you guys scored on this quiz too. So, yeah, if you want to see me do more of these, let me know down in the comments down below. And, yeah, I'll do more. So, here we go. Question number one. The hottest temperature ever recorded in the United States was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. This occurred in... Now, we got four choices for each question. One, Texas... So, A, B, C, and D. A, Texas. B, Arizona. C, Utah. Or D, California, guys. Which one is it? Pause the video and find out. Okay, guys. Good. So, I was thinking, not mistaken, I do remember this being California. So. I wish it would, like, give a description or something, but, yeah. Number two, what state is home to all five of the most lightning prone U.S. cities? Well, guys, pause the video right here and we'll come back to it. A, Florida, B, Alabama, C, Mississippi, or D, Louisiana? Well, guys, <laughs> I know this one right off the bat um, without even hesitation. It's A, Florida, final answer. Let's go. Anyone and everyone should know that, so just kidding, guys. If you don't know it, that's fine. No worries. Question number three. This U.S. city is the sunniest on Earth, receiving an average more than 4,000 hours of sunny weather every year. Okay, guys, so let me pull up my calculator real quick. Let's see. Or, you know what? Instead of doing that, how many hours in a year? So that's about half a year they spend being sunny. So, which one is it? Uh, a, El Paso, Texas. B, Phoenix, Arizona. C, Yuma, Arizona, or D, Las Vegas, Nevada. Pause the video here, and take down your answer, and resume, and see if you're right. Okay, guys, so, you're, if you chose Yuma, Arizona, you're correct. Question number four. In 2011, this state broke a record for the most tornadoes in a single day. A. Tennessee. B. Alabama. C. Texas. Or D. Oklahoma. Now, guys, th uh, two of these are actually in Tornado Valley. So, if you've seen which ones are in Tornado Valley that we just looked up, well, that narrows your choice down to two. So, guys, pause the video here. And... I'll see you when the answer is here. Okay, guys. So, that was kind of a trick little question that they gave us. And, um, well, actually, the state that it is is not in Tornado Alley, guys. I did that just to throw you off. 
The real answer to this question is, ready for, there we go, A, Tennessee. Okay, question number five, here we go. Which state received the most rain in a 24-hour period? An extreme 42 inches. Was it A, Louisiana, B, Texas, C, Washington, or D, California? Guys, Louisiana gets pretty bad rain. Texas gets pretty bad. They all get pretty bad rain except California. But, uh, guys, if I'm not mistaken, this was part of a tropical storm. If not hurricane, I forgot offhand which one it was just a few years ago. So, guys, if you paid attention to that, you guys would easily know what it is. So, guys, pause the video right here, and I'll see you guys when the answer comes up. Okay, guys, so the answer to this question, if you got it, was B, Texas. Uh, question number six. Of the 100 most populous U.S. cities, which city is the coldest? Based on which cities are persistently the coldest during winter rather than their record coldest temperature. Yeah, see guys, because if it was uh, based on their record coldest temperature, none of these would be in there. So, we got A, Omaha, Nebraska, B, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, C, Anchorage, Alaska, or D, Madison, Wisconsin. Pause the video right here, guys. And submit your answer, write it down, and I'll see you when the answer is revealed. Okay, guys, so if you chose B, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, you are correct. <coughs> okay, guys, number seven, ready for this one? This is going to be a uh, rough one. <laughs> so, what is the cloudiest major U.S. city? with an average of 226 cloudy days per year. Cities with a population of one plus million people. So is it Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, or Cleveland, Ohio? Guys, it should be easy for anyone, basically. And if you live in the city, you should definitely know it too. So guys, pause the video right here and submit your answer and I'll come back when the answer is right. Okay, guys. So, if you chose C, Seattle, Washington, you are correct. I've always wanted to go to Seattle. I don't know why, but I, I kind of do. Like, what do you guys think? When this whole thing's over, do you guys want me to go to Seattle one day? Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys got right and wrong on this quiz. And, yeah. So, Okay, guys, with that being said, question number eight. Ooh, we're almost there. Passing, okay, since there's ten questions, each one is worth ten points or ten percent. To get it all right, you had to get 100 points or 100 percent. Now, it's fine if you get like a 60 or higher, that's still passing. But if you get 50 points or 50 percent or less, I'm sorry guys, you did not pass it. I'm sorry. But, um, okay, question number eight. This state experienced a world record rainstorm. One foot of rain fell in just 42 minutes. Like, geez, that's a lot of rain in 42 minutes. One foot. Usually it's like three inches per hour but this is one foot pour poured down in 42 minutes a florida b missouri c hawaii or d oregon pause the video right now put down your answer and come back when the answer is ready okay guys so if you got b Missouri, you're correct. Look at that. That's a nice picture. Okay, cool. Up. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's nothing. It's nothing. I promise. I promise. 
Oh yeah, you like my new Kelowna cat? It's Nautica Classic. Not sponsored, I just seen it over there. It smells good. It really does. It was at Bell's Outlet for twelve ninety nine. So, but yeah, okay. Question number nine: Does Chicago's nickname hold true of the U.S. cities with a population of at least one hundred thousand people? This city is the most persistently windy, guys. We Amarillo, Texas, Fargo, North Dakota, Boston, Massachusetts, or Chicago, Illinois. Pause the video right here and come back with the answer. Okay, guys. So, this one might actually shock you guys. The answer is actually not. Chicago, Illinois. Shocked, right? Well, you might be asking, what is it then? Is it Boston? No, it's not. It's A, Amarillo, Texas. Alright, guys. Final question here, alright? In the United States lower 48, this state holds the record for most snowfall in a 24-hour period. Guys, remember uh, how I said up there this quiz is three years old well some of these records might have been broken so don't blame me I'll try finding a current one for another video if you guys like this so we got Wyoming Oregon Colorado or New York okay guys ready for this pause the video right now and come back with your answer guys if you chose C Colorado you are correct and well let's check my results 10 out of 10 congrats are you sure Jim Cantori didn't help you take this quiz guys if you don't know who Jim Cantori is well I'm ashamed no um, he is one of my favorite people on the weather channel he is a meteorologist for the weather channel he Holy heck, he's 56 years old? I did not know that. Jeez, man. Wow, I literally did not know that. Guys, I also found another video of Jim Cantori with Thunder Snow. Thunder Snow. Guys, do you, re you don't know what Thunder Snow is? Well... Guys, you don't know what Thunder Snow is? How don't you know what Thunder Snow is? Thunder Snow is amazing. It's amazing, guys. Amazing. So let's check this out. Thunder Snow. Here we go. This was back in February 4th, 2011. Okay. That's how I would be, too. Let's go. Yep. Yep. That's how I would be too. But yeah, guys. That'll do it for this video. I know I rambled on and on and on and on and on. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, come back another day if you like my videos. Subscribe with the bell turned on so you don't miss another video. And yeah, guys, comment down below what you guys got on the quiz. And if you want to see me do more of these. And yeah, guys. So, it's been fun. It's been real. But it's time to go. It's your boy, T-Croft97. Oh, bro.